Hi everyone, this is Josh with Slate Peak, and I want to give a video component here to my building a software as a service startup um, tutorial that I've got running on slatepeak.com right now. Um, basically what this tutorial is going to do is cover everything from building a full stack JavaScript application that will carry over to have a mobile um, application as well by utilizing React Native to running the business side of things. Um, kind of a lean startup mentality here, uh, building everything by yourself and getting your business running with kind of a minimum viable product. So uh, in this tutorial we're going to cover Node, uh, MongoDB, Express, and React JavaScript. Um, I have little experience in these things. I'm learning as I go. I've picked up a little bit more as I've been writing the parts of this tutorial so far. So uh, by the time I'm getting around to doing the videos, I know a little bit more than I did when I was writing the tutorials. Um, I've made updates along the way as well, but you're getting the latest and greatest of what I know right now. So um, basically, let's get let's kind of dig in. Um, as far as I've been able to tell, we're going to have two kind of sides of our application. We're going to have a server side and we're going to have a client side. The client side is going to be in charge of serving the views and um, kind of interfacing with the API, which is going to be on our server side, um, and exchanging data with it to update the views. Uh, the, the client side is going to be based in React, which is an exciting new technology um, from Facebook, actually. Uh, Instagram is made in it as well which is pretty cool. That is a huge and very scaled application that a lot of people are familiar with. And um, the server side is going to be handled by Node and Express and MongoDB. So yeah, let's kind of, let's dig in. Um, as you can tell, I'm going to be working on a Mac here. Some things are going to be different on Windows or Linux, and you'll be responsible for figuring that out. Um, you can get started by installing Node. Uh, sorry about that. Um, you can go right to the Node website, nodejs.org, and download the stable whatever version you want. Um, and then, or you could use Homebrew to uh, download your your Node and MongoDB instead. Again, you could go to the MongoDB site here. I put a link, and you could actually download the installer there if you want. Um, or you can get the Homebrew Package Manager for Mac, uh, for OS X, by pasting this here into Terminal and hitting Enter. That'll download it, and then you'll have access to the brew uh, brew command on the command line or the terminal. So. If you, did, if you chose that route, simply copy and paste brew install node or type it up into your terminal here. Simple as that. And then hit enter. That will install node. Do the same for Mongo. Um, and that's if you want to run Mongo locally. Another option I have is to go to mongolab.com. You get 500 megabytes of free storage. Uh, that's what I actually chose to do here because it's, it's easier. You don't have to set anything up. You just kind of register add your database, add a user, and you can fill that into your config in section two here when we get to part two of this tutorial. Anyway, um, let's get going. Now that we've got uh, Node installed, we, we have access to the Node Package Manager, NPM, uh, is what that stands for. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a new directory. So you can open up Terminal or just do it in Finder, uh, whatever works best for you. And just do mkdir sas or whatever you want. I've already got one there, so I'm going to make it sas2 just so I can kind of carry along with the tutorial here. Now we're going to change directory cd into that. And now uh, we've got a couple options here. You can create package.json or you can do npm init and just answer your questions. I'm just going to make it myself by using touch package.json and then I'm using the atom uh, code editor so I'm just going to type atom space period and it's going to open up this directory in atom for me. Uh, so as you can see from just looking looking at the tutorial here, we're going to be filling out 
if this opens here, uh, we're going to be filling out our package.json file. It's going to be pretty simple. Just note the format. The name of our application right now is just going to be SAAS. And then the main file here, oops, got to put that in quotes, is going to be server.js. Save that. And then we can go ahead and add our packages. Uh, you can add them in here by making a dependencies property and um, filling it out and then typing npm install. Or you can do it in what I think is the easier way and just type npm install dash dash save express mongoose react react dom babelify and then babel preset react. Hit enter, that will download and install all of these dependencies and it's going to actually add them to our package.json file. As you can see it's working right now, it's downloading and installing things. Um, once this is all done, this, this dash dash save here actually adds this to our package.json file, that's why we put the save there. If you don't put that there, then it's not going to add it, you have to add it manually. And you can also see the node modules folder was just created. That's where it's storing all these files. So we'll let this run out really quick. Great, everything's there. Perfect. Those are our dependencies. Now we have to, t um, to add our server file. So we can just go up here. Whoops. We can go up here to our SAS file in Atom or your favorite code editor. It doesn't really matter what you're using. And hit new file. Or you can just touch it in like we did before and call it server.js. Now here we need to include our packages in our main server file. Um, so this is how, I know there's a newer way of doing it um, that's like class import, but I'm just doing it the way that I've become accustomed to for the time being, and that would be var express require express. And then that requires Express. That pulls Express in for us. Now we can create our app by doing app equals Express. And then we're going to bring in Mongoose. And we're going to set a port variable. And now we're going to set our server to listen to our port here and then we're going to log to the console. Your server is running on port space here to make it pretty, port. And then we'll set a period and save. And now we'll go back to the terminal and since we're already in the the SAS directory, the SAS directory, we're just going to hit npm start. Your server is running on port 3000. We're seeing this logged to the console here. So now let's just go localhost and 3000. We have set up no route, so this is what we'd expect, but our server is up and running. So there we go. That is pretty much the first part of this tutorial. We've got a server up and running. Um, as we can see here, I'll give a quick rundown on what things are. Uh, Express is how we're starting our server. It's going to handle our routing um, on the server side for our API. Uh, and then Mongoose is actually how we're going to uh, connect our um, database in and save things to it, modify it, and delete things from it. Mongoose is how we're connecting to our our Mongo database. So that's a quick rundown of what things are. We installed some dependencies that we uh, haven't brought in here yet, haven't imported. Um, we will use those down the road, but for now I just figured it'd be nice to have some some things in there to show you how to import things um, and how to use the node package manager a little bit. Uh, if there are any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, and also check the description for the link to this article um, because I know sometimes videos are hard to follow and things are all written out on the website. So thanks for watching and good luck.